Barcelona is struggling with air pollution. The world is battling climate chaos and rising tides. Did three people from one family change the course of Europe's environmental policy? Did the Quant family influence Angela Merkel with a 690,000 euro payment? And did the German Chancellor, Europe's strongest leader, force the bailout nations to change direction at the last minute? The German government has been negotiating car CO2 emission standards with the European Parliament and European Commission, and at the June Council meeting it got brutal. The European Parliament, the European Commission and the Council of the Member States reached an agreement uh, on the details of, of the regulation as to how much how fuel efficient cars should be in 2020, which is about 30% more efficient than they are now. Merkel is alleged to have called several European heads of state, pressuring them to weaken the CO2 emissions deal. Ireland, Spain and Portugal were top of her call list. Merkel is said to have threatened less favourable bailout terms if these economically fragile nations didn't support the German agenda. It involved huge pressure from Angela Merkel um, on the Irish presidency of the EU to actually take the item off of the uh, council agenda. That pressure was successful. Merkel forced sovereign nations to support the German car industry. BMW and Daimler benefit most because they sell more high performance and luxury cars. BMW said to Angela Merkel that if this vote went ahead to really curb vehicle emission standards, then they would make it clear to the German public that she was against the car industry. And the car industry is a big employer in Germany. It is uh, no secret that uh, BMW and Daimler have been lobbying the Chancellery quite hard uh, that there is a German interest. The Irish clearly believed that they had uh, the, the agreement they'd struck would be acceptable to Germany. The German position changed very suddenly overnight. Uh, and we believe that the pressure came from the German car industry, and particularly BMW. The Quant family, which controls BMW, paid €690,000 to Angela Merkel's CDU party two weeks after Merkel was handsomely re-elected. To many, it looks like a political payoff for services to the German car industry. That BMW paid the CDU, the Christian Democrats, nearly €1 million Euro after the election is a bit uh, uh, awkward. I mean, this is really uh, putting a, a bad image on the relationship between politics that should be free from uh, individual interests and, and industry. I do find it very, very strange. I mean, they must have realized that this is going to bring public attention and that they just bluntly do it anyway it means that they think they're untouchable. They are living in another world. They have not uh, uh, the feeling that uh, there's something bad about uh, giving a, a chancellor a million. Uh, when she had uh, hard lobbying in their case and in their favor. So these are two planets, the real planet we are living in and the virtual planet uh, the others are living in. They might just be like too arrogant to notice that uh, for people with a normal salary, for people who are not driving BMWs, this is, quite, this is quite a scandal. So far, no one can prove that Merkel's government was paid for altering the policy. The Quant family donation is not a direct donation from BMW, even though they control 42% of the company. This is drive-by politics, gangland stuff, not the usual horse trading. If we look at when this donation was done, just days around the decision or like the, the influence of the German government to weaken the emission targets for cars and it's coming from the big car company in Germany, then I don't think this can really be considered to be a coincidence. Daimler and BMW said all the donations and support are legally compliant and transparent. A spokesperson for Daimler told us the June deal insufficiently defined with regard to the super credits and flexibilities. We asked the German government if Mrs. Merkel had suggested to other heads of state that their economic bailout terms could be altered if they didn't support the German position. A spokeswoman for the German government said no. You can see the parliament was not so open for, uh, for, for, for lobbying for, for, from the German uh, automobile sector. Volkswagen belongs to the uh, state of uh, Lower Saxonia. 20% of, uh, of the shares uh, are owned by, by the state and therefore 
the state has a seat, uh, the state of, uh, or the government of Lower Saxonia has a seat uh, in, in, the, in the governing uh, board uh, and therefore the lobbying is uh, different. in a different way organized, yes. They of course have to do more efforts to invent new technologies, to have uh, uh, new tools uh, in their cars to lower the CO2 emissions. Uh, so uh, they fear that it gets more costly for their customers and that they might lose uh, market shares. They have not big competition on the global market. I mean uh, Daimler and BMW and Audi. Uh, they have 80% of the premium market in the world. Uh, they just fear that they find less customers to pay the price. They always say that no, the Japan, Japanese cars, South Korean cars, all their cars will just uh, draw, I mean, uh, come here and they'll sell all the products and our, their, their, their own cars. Well, they are being also very competitive, these cars. And why is that? Because they are more fuel efficient. So Europe should basically keep, the, uh, keep on track of being fuel efficient. And these regulations, the CO2 regulations, precisely help to that. The risk is that the automobile uh, industry in different countries, as in, in France, um, is not so strong against this, this uh, directive. Uh, and they are more open to develop uh, modernized uh, systems of mobility. Uh, the German automobile industry is sticking with this old model of big and, and powerful cars with high pollution. I think that's not a good way for, for the future and, and especially from, from Asia we will get more and more alternatives uh, and therefore I think uh, it's on the long term not very clever to do what they did. If BMW had been an oil company, would the outcome of this scandal be different? BMW sells an aspirational consumer product. Angela Merkel proved she is a strong brand, winning a convincing third term. What if she had not been so popular? BMW and Merkel have shown that it's not voters that decide the course of our environmental policy, it's consumers. As long as we keep buying big environmental dreams, some politicians will keep selling out. I'm not just qualified this as a victory of, of who won, who lost, but uh, the most important thing is that, first of all, um, too much water down was avoided, and finally we got a deal.